So in this video, we're going to have a look at the KineSense object distinction algorithm. And this is an algorithm that was released in version 3.2. And it's currently in that version a beta algorithm. And basically what it is designed to do is to distinguish predominantly between vehicles and people. So they're the two classes which it distinguishes between and it enables you then to search your video by these two classes whether you want to see all people who are appearing in the video or if you want to see all cars you can do that so the way you use this algorithm um, is as per the normal KineSense LE import mechanism we go to our add remove tab and we start to import our video as normal. However, the change will be when uh, it comes to selecting the algorithm. Um, this is part and will be part of the event detection algorithm, but what you need to do for beta mode is to go to the advanced dropdown and select the um, algorithm uh, there, and this will use the event detection algorithm as standard but add a separate class to distinguish between people and vehicles. So continue to import your video as regular uh, adding all your evidential information and so on. So the video will start to import now and with the event detection algorithm it will look for everything that moves within that video and with the object classification algorithm it will actually distinguish and separate all those objects found that are moving in the scene into either people or vehicles. And if we want to then search the video um, we can create a filter like we would normally with the event detection algorithm. So you go to your filters tab, you click on add filter, you give the filter a name and you can continue on to select the criteria that you're interested in. So you can make use of color detection here um, and direction of movement detection and zone. So that means that you're combining these criteria with the object class of people and vehicles. So it makes it really nice if you want to search this video for all red cars as opposed to all objects that are moving that have red on them. Or all people who are wearing the color red you're now going to get your results and um, classified as people wearing red versus all objects with the color red. So continue on to add that criteria and then when it says select object types it'll have two little icons one and a person icon and one a vehicle icon and you press which one is relevant to you. In this example, we're going to select vehicles first. So we're just creating a filter over the um, scene here. We're going to actually select a filter area that covers the road as well. Um, you can make this any size really, it doesn't really matter. And um, that um, creates the filter for searching for vehicles. Now we can edit that filter to search for people, but we're going to create a new one or an additional filter here. So this one is going to be for searching for people in the same area. So we're going to select the same things all the way along until it gets to the object classification confirmation and there we're going to select that we're interested in people. And again, don't worry too much about the shape or the size of the filter. So everything that you have selected is highlighted on the right hand side of the toolbar. So you can do a quick check about all your criteria uh, prior to going to the view tab to see your results. And you can see your results on the view tab. So like normal with the event detection algorithm, all events will be represented as orange sprites on the timeline. Anywhere where there's blue space, there's video. 
anywhere where there's orange it means that an object or event has been found in a video and to see for instance all the vehicles that have appeared in our filter region we just click on the filter that we created object distinction vehicles and you can see pretty much instantaneously we get um, a lot of results showing to us and all the orange sprites above the line equal um, vehicles that have gone through the filter zone as opposed to people who have gone through the filter zone. Um, however, it is important to note that below the line any object that moves through the filter zone is also shown to you. So we like to do this to make sure that you're not going to miss any potentially pertinent event. So we can just play at all the events by pressing the play events button and it'll jump from event to event. And as we can see here, you just see quickly all the cars that pass through the filter zone. So really easy and quick to apply. Now in terms of uh, bicycles at the moment and motorcycles, this can be classed as either a vehicle or a person um, or both. Uh, that is something that's going to be distinguished uh, between in the next th version of 3.2. So watch out for further classes being added to this algorithm. Likewise, if we want to search for people this time instead of vehicles, we've already created our filter. So we just quickly click on that and straight away you can see the changes now. A lot less events have been found in this video. Obviously, a lot less people are walking uh, along this particular road than vehicles are traveling. But it quickly finds them and you can see all that blue space there is essentially time saved. Uh, searching for people who have gone across the road. So really interesting if you had a witness who said that um, they saw a person of interest um, or a potential suspect running across the street, you could create your filter covering the street area and you could search for people um, eliminating having to watch all the events for cars. So again, just a way of cutting down the time and saving time reviewing video. So that's essentially how you can review object distinction in the review window of Kinesense LE. We would encourage you all to try it out. Um, there is another way of viewing the results and this is in the new grid tab which presents all the objects found and allows you to filter and them by thumbnails. So please check out our video on the grid tab in order to see how you can see your results as thumbnails versus a timeline. And of course, please check out all the Kinesense how-to videos in the help menu of your Kinesense software.